My name is Elizabeth uh, Apondi Onyango. I'm the Monitoring and Evaluation Officer at Polycom Development. We've developed a strategy called the Talking Boxes. Like a suggestion box, it is designed in the same way, but now in this case, it is more of talking because it gives the girls a, a, an avenue through which they're able to give us their most intimate problems. And that is why the, actually the factory was started in response to that. Girls were not going to school, especially at that period when they were having the uh, menses. So this prompted to look for a donor who was able to give us a few materials and then we were able to start. So out of that, the girls' retention rate is very high. Ponycom has helped me to face to go through my challenges and circumstances that I'm f facing through life by helping me with sanitary pads. We want a community where women are able to thrive and to do business. We had this uh, economic empowerment factor that we were trained. After the training is when we applied for the funds. We were given 100,000. We divided it and to the individuals, because now we have individual businesses. Our work focused more on ensuring that the counties are able to increase financing for implementation of existing gender responsive policies that would guide the, the county to allocate more resources to you know, the women uh, specific fund, uh, funds that for example facilitate girls to access sanitary towels within the schools, and improving the sanitary situation in the institutions of learning. In the 50 schools that we work with, we realized the boys were less empowered. And out of that, we developed the boys' uh, mentorship sessions. And we've seen a great change in the schools that we have incorporated, both the boys and the girls. Polycom has, it's a very nice community that has helped many boys. It has helped me because it always gives us some boxers. It has also helped our girls. We don't have long-term projects. We can get funding and it will last for six months. And then we also wait for another funding that will take us another six months, all in uh, focusing on the girls. But when you look at the boys' mentorship, we don't have a donor in that line. So we are going out of our way to ensure that even the boys, their needs are also met. One thing I would want is the localization of the SDGs. We need to have that conversation felt at the grassroots level so that it's not, this is a national thing, yet it's something, even at the sub-county level, we are able to pull through and we're able to report.